It was another memorable moment as human rights activists across the nation gathered on Tuesday in Lagos to celebrate the late Ghani Fawaimi at the 13th Ghani Fawaimi Memorial Lectures held at St. Leo Catholic Church, Ikeja. Issues bordering on way forward for Nigeria's electoral system and democracy, fuel subsidy, corruption, and the ongoing acid strike were the highlight of the memorial lectures. 80% of the crude oil being made, produced in Nigeria, is stolen and the money is shared by the people in government. The people who say they are helping us to fight insurgency in the country are not fighting insurgency, but they are collaborating with the enemies of state to use insurgency to balloon defense projects and waste our money. Lastly, the people who have been in government since 19 God knows what are the ones who want to choose the leaders of our country for us today. And those are the three challenges facing us. We must ensure that we find a government who can give us accountability for our money, two, who can use the resources to implement Chapter 2 of the Constitution. Lastly, for the people of Nigeria to choose from among themselves an ordinary person to be the president of Nigeria. Thank you. The NNPC came out this morning to say that the number of, uh, the quantity of fuel consumed in Nigeria is 68 million liters per day. Lies. That was a reaction to the statement by the Comptroller General of Custom last week that saw the lie. Let me start by saying this. In February 2020, the Directorate of Petroleum Resources, DPR, disclosed to the whole world that the consumption rate, daily consumption rate, of fuel in Nigeria was 38.2 million liters. Barely 15 months later, NIPC came out to say the figure had ballooned to 102 million liters per day. When Femi Falana came to see me in Abuja detention, it's Start, we sat down with the DSS. He said, Mr. Shore, I was told that uh, you want to overthrow the government. And I said, sir, I do not want to overthrow the government. I want a revolution. He said, please, you have him right. He wants a revolution. And there's no crime in our constitution to want a revolution. And at any rate, your man, Buhari, who brought him here, did you not overthrow a government? The last time we ever appeared in court, when they brought their witness, he asked the DSS guy, did you know about 1984? The guy said, yeah. do you know Buhari on that true, of a true government? Has it been tried? That was the last time we appeared in court in that treason trial.